Hi, everybody. I'm George Cochran. I'm the founder of the digital film program here at TPCC. Um, I was asked to introduce this foray of material um, because uh, we are very, very proud of it. Uh, these students are uh, just magnificent. And I want you to pay attention to the, the following different projects that they've had. The Watch Project was created uh, by me for reasons of wanting to shoot a commercial on something that was tangible, something that they could have in front of them and offer a quality to the lighting, a quality to the concept. Uh, it's just a simple commercial that's a 30 second, exactly 30 seconds to a spot for a watch. And they can do anything they wanted to do and put it together in a way that was meaningful for the viewer. So they attempt to sell it. Uh, we've interviewed many of the students. Uh, I asked them qu key questions like, uh, how do you tell time? Do you tell time by your wristwatch, or do you tell time by your, your phone? I actually use the Pebble Time smartwatch. Sally, how was work today? what will the weather be no. like today? Amanda, how about you? I need you? to burn more calories today. Oh, oh, I need okay. to run. Brittany, how was oh work Oh my gosh, today? I cannot believe she did that. That is oh, so amazing. Guys, guys, I'm trying to talk. Hello, can you hear me? usually look at my cell phone. I do own a wristwatch, but it's my UNC Char Hills watch, so I only wear it on game days. Life is made up of moments, and in moments like these, does anyone care what time it is? You need your watch to be precise and easy to read, there when you need it, and out of the way when you don't, so you can live your life. Ale watches. Live the moment. We'll take care of the time.
I tell time by looking at my cell phone. I do own a wristwatch, but it's an Ariel, it's a Princess Ariel wristwatch. I got it when I was five and it no longer works. Time is a constant force. It waits for no one, never question it, but simply admire, taking in awe its ability to make history in our ever-changing world. Show how much you care about the time given you, eternity. Time and time again, she prepares for that special night out with you. But if you keep her waiting for too long, she'll find someone else to fill up her time. Watch out boys, introducing the Feminine Fit Quartz by Timex. When it comes to your journey, time is everything. And with flexible nylon webbing, durable mineral glass, and a water resistance of up to 100 feet, Sterlux watches can withstand time. Because to us, the journey is everything. Order your Sterlux watch now at www.sterluxmerc.com. Well, the truth is, I've been around since before time existed. And so originally I used the sun and a dial. I actually invented the watch, which I still wear on my wrist. But sometimes I use a cell phone, so really I can, I tell time with my eyes. Anything worth creating requires a dependable foundation. Which in time leads to a marvel to behold. Introducing Quartz by Cartier, the foundation of time. Another project that we gave in uh, 266 was uh, to photograph one scene. That one scene then had to be storyboarded and captured vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, 
a digital camera, which they did and edited. So they, you're going to be seeing one scene. Another project that was given to this class, or these classes, I should say, is the, uh, we gave them a, a number of different topics that they could isolate and decide upon. I think there were five or six choices that they had to shoot. One wanted to make a very short, two-minute-ish film that's going to embrace the whole business of communication, the whole idea of taking a concept, isolating it, storyboarding it, and putting it in um, a form that was brief to get the essence of that whole piece of emotion, that piece of visual execution, the kind of uh, camera work and diligence and editing that was needed to bring this to a point where it was nice. <laughs> I was at my friend's house the other day, and as soon as I walked in, he was like, Hey dude, come see what my dog did. I went out there, and it's like the biggest poo ever. I was like, how can your dog that size make a poo like that big? It's crazy. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Do you have a bathroom I can use? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, so I got a joke for you. Um, why don't they play poker in the jungle? Too many cheetahs? <laughs> Tell me more. 
love of God? Don't tell me more. Please don't tell me more. I thank you. Too many cheetahs! Oh, get it? Poker in the forest. Why do they play poker in the forest? Too many cheetahs? I can't do this. I can't do this. Day in and day out, I watch the people go by. They don't seem real to me. It's as if they were cut out of a 1950s magazine, if you added cell phones to it. All I see are these fake smiles and laughs, teenagers not paying attention to their surroundings because they're buried in a phone. Families sitting around acting like they're glad they have two or three, on average, screaming children running around them. There are enough people in the world to have to feel like you must have babies every time you turn around. And I see all these people, these couples, wandering aimlessly on together. There's no one person for everyone. There's far too many people in this world to think like that. You already know somebody between the two of them has screwed up at least once. There's nothing real in the world. No one you can trust but you. But I guess once you've looked at them all long enough, they do appear to feel comfortable with their lives. On occasion, I can feel the warmth of their smiles and the meaning behind their hands being held. Maybe it's not they who are lost after all in this world. Maybe they haven't conformed, but grown and become so much more than that. Maybe it's been me all along that's been lost. I should get a dog. All right, Pop, welcome to your new home. What do you think? Think you're gonna have fun here? That's my breakfast. Well, that's not sick. How did you even do that? Oh no, give me back my sock! Oh, 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 why won't you sit? Oh, you've already had breakfast. Lady, sit. Why won't you sit? Yeah. Yeah, did you seriously just eat your bed? You gotta sit. I know you can do it. I know you can do this. There you go, focus. Good girl, good set. You are awesome, pup. It wasn't the arguments, the packing, the moving, or even the selling of our home that was the tough part. The tough part, the really tough part, was keeping it together while my life fell apart. And then I was there. The one place I'd been before and vowed never to go back. I was trying to make it work. I quit my job teaching, a job I loved. I mean, look at this sweetheart. Who wouldn't want to work with such honest and real people? Aside from those students, other factors became a test of my sanity on a daily basis. But for my family, who could blame me? I wasn't happy. I put my son in the same exact position I was in when I was his age. I swore I wouldn't let that happen, but I failed. I signed up for classes, a dream of mine, and then sat in the living room with my wife while she explained all the reasons we should part ways. They all made sense, but I was a changed man. The worst thing was that I knew more about my students than my own son. Watching the look in his eyes when I told him, he didn't know what was coming. I owe him so much more. So much more. Depressed? Don't be. I have a plan. I always do.
Oh, <laughs> my